When you're transforming objects and components, you often use the manipulators for the Move, Rotate, and Scale tools because they're interactive. But sometimes you need to use exact values which are tricky to get with the manipulators. There are a few tools in Maya that give you this precision. The Channel Box, the Attribute Editor, and the Input Box on the Status Line. The channel box is the most commonly used tool for doing this and also lets you easily key these values if you want to animate them. You can enter values for each channel in their fields or you can select a channel name then middle drag anywhere in the view as a virtual slider. If you want to have the same value for multiple channels, drag across to select them, then type in a value and press Enter. You can also use math operations directly in the text boxes as relative operations. For example, Enter plus equals 10 to add 10 to the current rotate Z value. Or asterisk equals 0.75 to multiply the current scale values by 0.75. If you need very precise transform values, you can change the level of precision by choosing Edit, Settings, Change Precision. By default, the number of decimals after the period is 3, but you can increase that to have something like 5 decimals. To key the current values of the channels displayed in the channel box, go to the frame you want in the timeline and press S. You can change the channels that are shown in the channel box by choosing Edit Channel Control. Keyable channels are the ones that are displayed in the channel box and keyed when you press S. Move channels from the non-keyable hidden list to the keyable one if you want to expose them for editing and keying. You can also enter values and key channels on the object's Transform tab in the Attribute Editor but it's not quite as streamlined as the channel box. However, you can set other transformation options here, such as the rotate order. The input box on the status line is an alternative when the channel box isn't visible. Select one of the Move, Rotate, or Scale tools, then click the icon beside the input box and select either Absolute Transform, where the objects are transformed with absolute values in reference to the scene's origin, a relative transform, where the objects are transformed in reference to their current values, so these values are added to that. Click the input field and type x, y, and z values in the appropriate fields.